Hello everyone, welcome to Knowledge Circle. In today's video, we will see a program in Java based on sparse matrix. So first of all, let's know what is a sparse matrix. A sparse matrix is that whose more than half elements are zero. And we are going to have a program on sparse matrix. Now let's open BlueJ and create a class. And then after the creation of class, we'll double click and uh, the code window gets opened. Now we will begin our program. The very first line is import Java util.scanner. Then we create the class with the name sparse. And then the scope of the main function begins. Then public set requirement. And then object of scanner class to take input from user. Then after we create two variables here int r and c r for number of rows and c for number of columns okay then we provide a message to the user that enter the number of rows and columns of the matrix so what user does user will input two values the first value will be considered as number of rows and the second value will be considered as number of columns and we initialize the variable r and c uh, as we get input from user at the time of execution and with the help of these two values, we will declare an array int a and then uh, the square brackets, double dimensional array, matrix, and new operator to allocate memory. And then r and c are passed in the array. Then system.out.println, uh, we ask user that and input the elements of the matrix. To input the elements in the matrix, what we do, we have to use nested loop. The outer loop is responsible for number of rows and the inner loop is responsible for number of columns. So the first loop goes from 0 and it goes lesser than the R number of rows I++. Then the scope of the outer loop begins and then we write the second loop, the inner loop uh, for number of columns. It begins from 0, it goes lesser than C, J++. Now in the inner loop, uh, we put the statement to take input from user. So here we write aij ob dot next int. Okay. And then after we have to write one more statement, and that's why I'm declaring here a variable uh, count as zero. So count. Uh, why we are doing this? We are doing this to count the number of uh, zeros present in the uh, matrix. So here we check if ij is equal to zero, then count will increase by one. Here we close the scope of the inner loop. And then we close the scope of the outer loop. Now, what we check here, if the number of zeros are more than half of the element. So R into C will give you number of elements. And if this condition is true, then what should happen? That this matrix will be considered as sparse matrix. So here the message is given. If it is true, then this is a sparse matrix. And then otherwise, if this condition is false, then it's not a sparse matrix. So I'll just modify the message here and then we close the main and then we close the class. Let's go for compilation process. Click on compile button, class compile, no syntax. Now we will execute the program. Enter the number of rows and columns of the matrix. So here the number of rows is three and the column is four. So let's enter the elements of matrix one, two, zero, zero. Second row, one, zero, zero, five. And let's enter all the four elements of the third row as zero. It is a sparse matrix. Now we will re-execute the program with a different value to check whether it is a sparse matrix or not. So here I enter the row and column as two and two only, two and three, and enter the number of elements of matrix two, five, zero, and then zero, five, nine. It's not a sparse matrix.